South Africa sent um, his envoy to apologize on behalf of yeah. South Africans. Do yeah. you think we should accept that apology? I think, I think the same way people would say, oh, Nigerians are fraudsters. Not all Nigerians are fraudsters. Are you a fraudster? No. Nope. Are you a fraudster? No. Are you a fraudster? No. Exactly. So I, I, are you a fraudster? Of course not. <laughs> so I think that, yes, some people have gone out and done this really horrible thing. Really, really, really horrible. Some mm. would say unforgivable thing. But you cannot say that all South Africans are like but, that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I think, obviously, for the president to be apologizing, whether I send an envoy or he came by himself, it is him apologizing on behalf of the nation and it's people that are serious minded in the nation saying we are sorry for this. Mm -hmm. I think it's the only way to ensure peace. What would you rather, that they kill more Nigerians? Mm. No, but um, you know, um, there's another batch coming in, I don't know. Of Nigerians? Some, yeah, of yeah. Nigerians yeah. coming in. So are you saying they should just stay back? They shouldn't come in? I'm not saying they should stay back. I think that, of course, until things are, are, are sorted out, mm -hmm. why would you want to stay in a place that is unsafe for you? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I think that an apology is a step in the right direction yeah. towards mm -hmm. working yeah. to make things better. And it's not like they're saying, oh, yeah, well, my people were right anyway. Because a country can't decide to do that. What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. right. So you're a good authority to